Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. Welcome to the weekly sector overview. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing, ringing that bell, and hitting the like button. Longer term subscribers, please leave some comments and like the videos. All right, let's get straight to it. The sector overview, XLE energy sector still in strong buy mode. Had another little pullback this week. But you see this 50 has been holding really nicely. I'm watching now for a breakout to new highs. Energy stocks have been holding up real well, especially with crude rallying again. So what are we watching for at this point? I'm watching back to this uh, harmonic level of about 82.07. Then our major cluster 89.85 to about 84 levels. So that's what I'm going to be focused on in the next week. Energy stocks are still a strong buy. But don't just blindly buy them. Make sure they are uh, at or outperforming the energy sector. There are a couple plays that I would avoid in there. But overall, that is a strong sector. XLRE, real estate, triggering a sell signal, a long-term sell signal. You can see that potential double did not pan out and real estate heading lower. Now, we are getting a bounce play and we have this little short-term, little mini mini double which just takes us back essentially to the rotation zone even if i use the aggressive targets it takes it back to the rotation zone so if this follows through over the next uh, few days i be using it to raise stops and still any profitable real estate uh plays and or unwind positions on this it is in long-term sell mode but the next major target up is about 43.90 minor targets are about 43.60 and 43.30 so long term is a sell, but short term, it can have some continue bullish upside. You see you're even returning into the daily rotation zone. But on that weekly basis, breaking down below a key support and that a little rally doesn't even take us back to test that support level now becoming resistance. So we do have that longer term sell signal in uh, the real estate ETF. So rallies are to be sold. XLF, the financials, which has been in sell mode, trying to put in a little short-term bottom. Nothing's changed on the long-term sell mode. Rallying back up, what am I focused on? If we do continue this rally with strong markets over the next little bit, the key area that I'm watching is around 34.23 to about 34.72, at least over the next week. Not really interested in a lot of long-term uh, plays in XLF. There might be some short-term little pop plays with a temporary bottom being put in, but now looking for a larger-term rollover move back on a rally. Even if it did a stronger rally, if the markets remain stronger for the next uh, couple weeks, and this put in a strong, strong rally, even on this decline, you see the 50% harmonic level all the way back at 37 would not tip it into a long-term buy pattern. So if you find some interesting uh, financial sector plays that are outperforming, they might be viable for a little short-term bounce plays. I'd look at some short-term patterns on them, but other than that, I'd be watching for new short plays once we get a rally underway and start getting some topping patterns. XLK still in major sell mode, finally getting at least a little potential bounce after going through our harmonic level. Uh, XLK, by the way, is technology. Coming back just below the 25% harmonic you see here, this is a daily rotation zone. Next area I'm watching, if, if we can get through this daily rotation zone with some continued strength above 137.20, I'm really focused on 141.64. Why that level? You see here, pretty significant breakdown zone, declining daily rotation zone, and uh, so you had support becoming resistance with the declining rotation zone. There's no great bottoming pattern, but uh, things, especially if the NASDAQ remains strong with cycles going up on a daily, we could see a uh, multi-day still rally back. Weekly, though, you see here, even if we got through that 
short-term level into the weekly rotation zone, you have a fair amount of resistance to get through. So I'd be watching for topping plays. Again, any technology plays would be for very short-term bounce. And even off this last little thing, if you come back to the 50 to 62.5% harmonic area where we expect longer-term rollovers, doesn't even take it close back to buy mode. So technology, if something's in outperformance mode or you're in very short-term plays like uh, little short-term swing trades that can be in place as long as the NASDAQ does continue its up move. Other than that, longer term more for more rollover plays. XLI, still in sell mode, long term. Uh, short term, again, a lot of things look similar. Coming back to the daily rotation zone, this double that we were watching for last week, of course, never triggered. And you have to wait for these triggers. You don't want to front run patterns in a bear market price action. So above here, I'm watching next for about 94.60 and then a return to potentially 96. And that would just be for a short term bounce play. A lot of these are just bounce plays. And that's in the industrial sector. Then I'd be watching for a longer term rollover play. Cycles at the bottom and turning up. But again, even to those key levels does not take us anywhere near a long term buy pattern. And you see all this major resistance our support becoming resistance. So even on a stronger rally, there's just nothing I'm watching for. At this point, I'm lowering the harmonics to see where we sit. And I just want to peek in on that weekly chart. Here you see now even closing below the weekly rotation zone. Uh, so again, watching for a rally and then another roll over play. Oh, sorry, that was monthly. Uh, not, here's the weekly. Watching for that rally, even back to, let me reverse these harmonics now. Just reverse these. So even on a stronger rally, if the market can put in a sh uh, longer term bottom, like a medium term bottom, my major area would be about 99.06. Okay, let's get to XLY. The consumer discretionary, also a pop on this. Now, we're just watching again. You have major support becoming major resistance on the... Uh, sell signal which we had back on the 18th of April you see the sell-off since then now I'm watching for that bounce play back that 50% of this last down move would take us back to only 167 area and this key little support becoming resistance let's check that out on the daily so here's your daily and here's that uh, resistance level off the weekly so Shorter term, if you want to play for consumer discretionary on a continued rally, I'd really need to close below about 154.57. Then I'd be targeting 160, and that would be, again, for only very short-term consumer discretionary plays. I'm expecting another major long-term rollover in this. And on the weekly, you see the rotation zone is against it. So even on a return to that 50% level, that 167 area would just be a return to that weekly rotation zone with another substantial rollover it did finally reconnect with that 200 on the weekly though so that's we're getting the nice bounce off of that lots of these things are just short-term upside plays uh consumer staples still in long-term buy mode on the short term we have this head and shoulders pattern which hit the full target so you see this uh area right down there full target reach there with the pullback to the 62 and a half and no close below that so that pattern is complete. I'm starting to look for more consumer staple plays more aggressively. We do have a potential double bottom play, and that would have to trigger above the high of 78.23. So I'm going to be watching that to trigger in the next uh, few days to week. And that would just be returning again to the weekly rotation zone and rotating up. So consumer staples is one of the stronger sectors I'm actively looking for longer term plays in. So that's those aren't swing trades. Those are longer term uh, position trades. XLV, healthcare, uh, not yet issuing a sell signal, nice little reversal pattern. And actually when we got that close below the 62 and a half, a couple weeks ago it favored returning this 87 and a half to 100% level, which we did over the last week. Now we have on a shorter term basis, you can see it clearly here on the four hour, we do have a little potential double. So potential healthcare play uh, close above 
the high of 129.09, 130.79, 131.63, 132.50, 48. What does that mean? It could easily return into a daily rotation zone. We still don't have a long-term sell signal. We're on the verge of getting one. So this, again, would be short to potentially on an outperforming stock in healthcare, a medium-term play. But you just have to be aware, since we are close to that longer-term sell signal, you, I would aggre more aggressively raise stops on any plays that trigger. And I'm really watching, especially the beginning of this week, for that to trigger in the healthcare sector. And I will start more active scans to look for really good healthcare plays for that uh, short to medium term basis. XLB, still not in sell mode. Now they're very similar to uh, healthcare. XLB is a material select spider. We do have this little double. We'd need a close above 8357. Then 8518 would be my primary target. Why? We have the daily rotation zone just below that, the flat 200 and the 50, all in this area, and the 50% retracement level from this run up. So do not ignore that area. The next higher targets would be 8596 and 8679. Still a bit cautious in uh, the uh, materials sector unless this double does trigger and if it does i will watch for some short to medium term plays uh why am i cautious the rotation zone's flat still holding above this uh key resistance but it's starting to weaken so we really need to find some good solid plays in this sector just wouldn't be chasing anything just because it's in that sector because if it rolls over again and gets a close below the 79 level it's in a long-term sell mode XLC communications again spiking down through the next harmonic we did not trigger this potential double from last week so that's off the table communications I'm just not really bullish on we might be getting a bottom of a weekly cycle back below the 200 week so I'm just going to be using the short term harmonics uh, for a little play next level 6014 then 661.11 and through there uh, about 62.05. Any uh, communication stocks would have to be on major outperformance, would only be short term plays. Cycles are turning up on the daily, but CL is off its weekly rotation zone. So, really, even a return to this 37.5% harmonic would be setting up for another longer term sell signal. If you're in doubt, I'd avoid that sector completely. XLU, still in buy mode, not triggered a sell mode. XLU would need, we have a potential double, a close about 72.75, 74.21, 74.93, 75.66. That would put me in short to medium term buy mode with looking for some more aggressive plays in the utility sector. You can see we did not close below the weekly rotation zone, but I'd really like this to trigger on this double basis before I really start scanning for any utility plays. Even though it's a longer term buy mode, I need to show a little more strength with this pretty substantial pullback. XRT, which is a retail ETF, again, the double did not trigger. Remember, just because there's a potential, you got to wait for those triggers, especially in these very weak sectors, which is still in major sell mode not very bullish on the consumer what am i watching for at this point i'm keeping an eye on this next 37 half percent harmonic which is also the breakdown zone so support becoming resistance so about 68 70 to about 60 to about 70 bucks even to about 70 69 going to start watching for rollover plays in this very weak. If it did rally through that, I'd focus on the 72.39 for the next reversal plays. Uh, but this, even if it rallied all the way back to wipe out this whole move, would probably not even put in a buy signal. So uh, retail, I'm just sticking clear of. IYT transportation, trying to put in a bottoming pattern here. Little bounce up, but uh, transportation still in sell mode. You'd have, us have to have a major rally in this to take it back to buy mode. And same, sounds like a broken record. Support becoming resistance. First level I'm watching is about 237. Then I'm really focused on about 241.50 for another rollover play. 
I'm avoiding transportation pretty much at all costs. DBC commodity still in major buy mode, holding up, basing. This is pretty much a sideways correction. I'm watching for breakout plays in commodities, uh, but I'm still picky. Like gold and silver have been really beat up. I am watching for some short-term bottoming plays in those, but those I'd be looking for more uh, strength stuff in uh, like oil and oil related because oil is back to moving up rather nicely. DBA, we're still in long-term buy mode. Uh, we didn't have this double trigger, so you can't use those targets for last week. It sold off, but now it's starting to bounce back. I'm really going to get interested. Again, wheat taking off. At the end of the week last week, I'm watching this 2236 to get a close above there. Then I really start focusing on some short to medium term agriculture plays after this uh, multi wave pullback. So that's what I am keeping an eye on. You see here back to the weekly rotation zone with the rotation back up. I just need to show a little more strength before I get more aggressive. But that is still in major long term buy mode. Request to add SMH. SMH is in sell mode. Prior major uh, support becoming resistance 248.70. We might be getting a minor bottom, but even on a rally back to this 249 area would we'll just take it back to walking for shorts in semiconductors. So before that, I'd be watching about 241.12. I am not bullish on this. We had, a, you know, AMD was looking like the strongest, and that's about the only one I'm watching. I'm staying clear. NVIDIA might get a little bounce play, but longer term, I'm still staying clear of that. Essentially, head and shoulders pattern on a horizontal basis. We're using the horizontal play, coming back down to the first target and bouncing up. But again, I'm watching for another rollover play. Even if it got back to 6 and f harmonic, and people who follow the channel regularly know how uh, strong that area is, would not take it into a long-term buy mode. VTV, Vanguard Value ETF, still in buy mode, still holding a horizontal. It's weakened a bit, but trying to get a reversal pattern in here. Uh, I'm just not super aggressive until it can get back above about 143. That's the key area I'm going to start watching with this bigger than expected pullback. Uh, and then I want to see it get above about 143. I could even give it a little more room about 144 before I get really aggressive with VTV. Uh, still barely hanging on to a buy mode. VUG. In sell mode, been in sell mode since about the beginning of April. So watching for a bounce play in here just with the NASDAQ, but even on a return to about 251, going to watch for rollover plays. What's interesting is value and growth have been smacked down, and there aren't a lot of good things for longer term plays in either of them, which means I'm still very bearish on the overall market. But we're getting to the point where stuff ha is oversold and going to keep an eye on just very short-term plays if something falls into those categories. With that, I'm going to wrap it up for now, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave some comments, and I will talk to everyone later. Bye for now.